third graders. Welcome to lesson 19.4, all about perimeter and area. So hopefully you remember that area, it has to do with the surface space on the top of a flat shape. So if we were to think about, say, our kitchen table, when we find the area of our kitchen table, that means how much room do we have on the surface? How big is the surface of that kitchen table? How much space do we have on the surface of our kitchen table to put all of our plates and cups and forks and knives and everything that we are gonna need to eat dinner? Okay, so we can measure area. Remember we talked about inches. We can measure it in, or square inches, I should say. Square inches or square centimeters, square feet, square meters. That's area, the amount of surface area on a shape. Today we're gonna learn all about perimeter. Now perimeter is the distance around the outside of the shape. Okay, so here is a miniature version of the top of my kitchen table. So this is how much space I have on the surface of my kitchen table. So I know that when I'm finding area, what it really means, since I'm measuring in feet, okay, because when I measured my table, it was just the easiest way is in feet for this particular table because of the size of it. So it just makes sense to measure it in feet. So what this means is that to find the area of a shape like this where I can't see all the squares that are inside the shape, right? I can't see that on my kitchen table, right? If you look at your kitchen table, you won't see any squares there for you to be able to count them, okay? So another way that we can find area is we can just go three times five. So it's basically the length times the width of our shape is going to be our area. So in this case, we know three times five is of course 15. And remember guys, when we're talking about area, we would always say in square units. So in this case, our unit is feet. So we would say it is 15 square feet. Okay. So what that really means is that I could take 15 one foot squares and I could fit them perfectly on my table. Okay, so if I had a square here that was one foot by one foot by one foot by one foot, that would be one square foot, right? So that means I could fit 15 of those on this table. That's why it would be 15 square feet for the area. So that is area, that's my surface that I'm talking about. Today we're gonna be learning about perimeter. So perimeter, like I said, is the distance around the outside of my shape, okay? So this is where our chairs are on our table, right? If we're imagining this to be a table, then this is where there would be a chair here, maybe one or two chairs on this side, a chair here, maybe one or two chairs on this side. So this is how much room do we have on the outside of the table. Okay, and to find perimeter, all we need to do is add up the length of each side. So if I know the length of this side is five feet, then of course the opposite side on a rectangle is going to be exactly the same, right guys? So I know that this side is five feet, this side is five feet, and then my other two sides, I know that those two are going to be the same as well since opposite sides are always the same length on a rectangle. So I have three feet over here and three feet over here. So now all I have to do is add up all four sides and that's my perimeter. So in this case, it would be five plus five, we know is 10, plus three more, 13, plus three more, 16. So my perimeter, and we can abbreviate perimeter with an uppercase P. Okay, so my perimeter of my kitchen table is 16 feet. Notice I didn't do square feet. Okay, so when we're measuring perimeter, we don't say square feet or square inches. That's only when we're doing area. Okay, because think about area 
is how many squares could fit on the surface of that shape, right? Perimeter is just the distance around the outside of the shape. Okay, so let's look at a couple examples from our book. So it says, look at the rectangle on the geo board right here. The perimeter of the rectangle is the distance around it. To find the perimeter, you find the length of each side of the rectangle in centimeters, in this case, because each of these is one centimeter, as we can see here. So you find the length of each side of the rectangle in centimeters and add them all up. Okay, so we can see that this side is one, two, three centimeters. So that means the opposite side is three centimeters also. And then one, two, and so this one is one, two also. So three plus three plus two plus two, or three plus two plus three plus two <laughs> is 10. So the perimeter of this rectangle would be 10 centimeters. So that is the distance around the outside of the rectangle. And then to find the area of this shape, guys, it would just be two times three, because this side is two centimeters, this side is three centimeters, so it would be two times three, which is six, so our area would be six square centimeters. We can check that on this one because we can see that this is one square, right? Two, three, four, five, six, okay? So that's area. Perimeter is the outside distance, which is 10 centimeters. Okay, so let's look at the example down here. It says you can also measure perimeter in meters and feet. And in this case, they're measuring in inches. So just like area, it depends on what you're measuring. Depending on how big it is, is what unit you would use to measure it. So if it's something small, you would want to measure perimeter in inches or centimeters. And if it's something bigger, you could measure it in feet or meters. Okay, so to find the perimeter of this shape, I basically just need to add up all the sides, okay? So when I'm doing a shape like this, what I do is I always start in this upper right-hand corner, and if I'm working on a piece of paper, I actually will draw a little line there, so it looks kind of like this. Let me show you. So I just draw a tiny little line up in the corner, and that helps me to remember where I started counting, okay? So in this case, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. So the perimeter, the outside distance of this figure or shape is 12 inches. And then its area would be 5 square inches because we can see it's made up, the surface part is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's 5 square inches area and its perimeter is 12 inches around the outside. Okay, let's look at a couple more examples. And this is telling us that perimeter can be measured in centimeters, inches, meters, and feet. An area can be measured in square centimeters, square inches, square meters, and square feet. So we already knew that, didn't we, guys? Okay, look at the two figures on the geo board. They have the same perimeter. The perimeter of each figure is Notice I put my little line so I always remember where I started counting. I know that each of these spaces between the dots is one centimeter. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen centimeters. And just to make sure, I'm going to quickly count this one and make sure that it's also fourteen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so they both have a perimeter. Remember, that's the outside distance. They both have a perimeter of fourteen centimeters, but they don't have the same area. So if we look here, we can see that this one has an area of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven square centimeters. It's made up of seven square centimeters. And then this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine square centimeters. So it is possible for a shape to have the same perimeter but different 
areas. Okay, number four, it says find the perimeter and area of each figure. Okay, so remember, the perimeter is the outside, so we're gonna count the outside first. I've got my little lines so I don't get confused. This time we're measuring in inches. So I'm gonna start here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so the distance around the outside of this figure is 14 inches. Now to find the area, I wanna know how much space does it have on the surface? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it has an area of eight square inches. Okay, and then this one, I'm gonna start my counting right here to find the perimeter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 inches. So it looks like these figures both have the same perimeter, 14 inches around the outside. But now the area of this one, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Okay, so these both have a perimeter of 14 inches and an area of eight square inches. So these shapes have the same amount of space on the top of them and also around the outside. So it's asking us, do figures C and D have the same area? Yes, they do. Do they have the same perimeter? Yes, they do. Because we know that the distance around the outside is the same and the distance on the surface is also the same. Okay, so sometimes you're gonna see a shape like this, and you're gonna have to find the area of that shape. So the best strategy to use when you have a shape that looks like this is to separate this shape into two rectangles, okay? So notice how they have these little dotted lines right here. All they're doing is they're separating it into this rectangle here, shape A, and this rectangle here, shape B. That way we can find the area of each rectangle and then we can just add them up together to figure out the area of the whole shape. So for this one, this side has five squares, right? And then the top has two squares. So we know to find the area, it's five times two. So that means that the area of rectangle A would be 10 square units in this case, because we don't know if these are inches or centimeters or what we're measuring in, so we would just say 10 square units, okay? And then over here, we can see that this one has one, two, three, four on the bottom, and one, two, three on the side. Four times three is 12. So the area of rectangle B would be 12 square units. So then in order to find the area of this whole figure together, all we would do is add up the two areas of each one. So we would add 10 plus 12, and we would find out that this shape has an area of 22 square units. Let's try the one down here at the bottom. It says, Jermaine buys square foot tiles for his driveway. What is the area of his driveway? So we can see that his driveway has kind of an odd shape here. So what we're gonna do to make it a lot easier to find the area is we're just gonna split this into two separate rectangles. So we're gonna make it into rectangle C and rectangle D. That way we can easily find the area of rectangle C, which would be three times two, which is six. So three times two is six square feet. And then this one is four feet times two feet, so that would be eight. Four times two is eight square feet. And then all we need to do is add up those two numbers. So we would add six plus eight, and that would give us 14 square feet. Okay, so we just figured out the area of kind of a, an awkward shape. And all we had to do was split it into two nice rectangles that where it was a lot easier to find the area. Okay guys, we're quickly gonna go over this Let's Practice page together and then we are done. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put my little lines. All right, so to find the perimeter of this first shape, I'm going to count the outside distance, right? Because remember, perimeter is the distance on the outside of the shape. 
This time we're measuring in meters. So we're pretending that these little tiny ones are actually giant meters. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So this shape has a perimeter of eighteen meters. Now the area would be how many squares can fit, how many one meter squares, I should say, can fit on the surface of this shape. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this shape has an area of ten square meters. Okay, and then this one, the perimeter is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So it also has a perimeter of 18 meters. And then its area is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it actually has a smaller area than the other shape. So there's more room on the surface of this one than there is on the surface of this one. So this one's eight square meters area, okay? Do they have the same area? No, they don't. This one has more space. And then do they have the same perimeter? They do have the same perimeter, right? Because the distance around the outside of them was the same, okay? Let's look at number two. So now we're looking at these two shapes here. And he's telling us, of course, these inch squares are smaller than in real life. We already know that, right, guys? Okay, so let's count our perimeter of the first shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen inches on that one. And now let's look at our area. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So our area of this shape is nine square inches. And our perimeter over here would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 inches all the way around the outside of that shape. And then the inside would be three times three or three, six, nine square inches. So it's asking us, do they have the same area? They actually do have the same area. There's exactly as much room on the surface of this shape as there is on the surface of this shape. They're just spread out differently, right? Do they have the same perimeter? No, nope, they definitely don't have the same perimeter. This one is a lot bigger on the outside, right, than this one is, okay? So just remember, guys, it's possible to have the same perimeter and different areas, or you can have different perimeters and the same area. Okay, so I know that's a little bit confusing, but don't worry about it. You're going to do a lot with area and perimeter in fourth grade. So I hope you enjoyed learning all about perimeter today and reviewing area as well, and also kind of learning how perimeter and area go hand in hand. All right, that's it for our lesson today, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.